I'm Don Singletary and welcome to the channel. If you're new, you came to the right place. Here's where we teach beginners affordable day trading with those new one-tenth size micro e-minis. That's all we do on the channel here. And stay tuned because I'll have a free trade simulation program for you. No credit cards required. And also, I'll show you a beginner's playlist, a special four-part video course, a little mini course that gives you some of the basics. We'll have that, and the trade of the week this week is going to be very interesting. It's a NASDAQ 100 micro e-mini. They only trade for $2 a point, so stay tuned. We'll have that and a lot more. Now for the trade setup, I'm going to show you why and how I selected this trade at this particular time. This is a still screen. I'll run the live trade video in just a moment. NASDAQ 100, $2 a point. You can see the market opens at 9.30 and uh, promptly after going up for 10 minutes or so, turns down and at around 10.30, just after 10.30, you see in the bottom pane on the MACD, the green line below the red line, and uh, it looks as though they're going to venture below the zero line, which would imply, or I inferred actually, this means the market may go further down. And that's what I call a lower risk uh, chance opportunity to make the trade. There's no guarantees, as you're going to see. And uh, this will be a fairly short trade, but I think you'll find it interesting. So now I place the trade. I click on bid to sell, and I choose uh, two contracts to short. I hit review and send, then I right click, click on the bracket, drag the bracket to the left, and then click the chart screen. Now I'm going to do that again at half speed so you'll be able to see it again when I short these two contracts. Click on the bid and that sets up a sell. Then over on the right side, I go down and select instead of minus one, I get minus two, I hit review and send. Now I right click in the trading pane and click on bracket. I drag the bracket frame over to the left side, left half of my screen, and then select the chart button. Now that means I can fill in my bracket order and also while I'm looking at the live trading screen. So I'm short two contracts at 15347. I go to the stop loss and set my stop loss, at least initially here, at 15,355. Then go down to the close at profit in the green rectangle, and I arbitrarily just put 15,300 there. Then I look back up at my stop loss and uh, check it out again. The market's trading down in the 340s, so I'm going to bring that stop down to 15,350 and send it off. And I'm watching this thing, and uh, the MACD seems to be working good. We're trading down at uh, 15,344 right now. And I decide to uh, make some adjustments on my screen. I do that sometimes when I'm trading. And uh, keeping an eye on the trading price over there, it's uh, hovering around 15,341 or so. So I decide I'm going to move that stop down. I got a little room now. It's trading down at 15,341. So I'm going to turn this baby into a free trade by putting my stop at the same price where I shorted the contract. So now the worst thing can happen is I'm going to break even. It's trading all the way down to 15,336 there. 36.50, I think, was the load during the entire trade. And so I decide I'm going to go up and move my stop down. I've got plenty of room to do that. It was three... three uh, 15 3 36 50 and watch how fast it runs back up before i can get the mouse and drag the stop down i'm already trading at 15 3 42 i've come up six points so i've lost 24 dollars of my unrealized gain just in three or four seconds there and uh, that's just part of the gig when you're doing this kind of trading and uh, that was the best i could do i got stopped out at 15 3 45 and only made $8 on the trade. Well, it came back up so fast in the trade, it could only get $8 out of that, out of a possible 44. Wish it could have been more, but uh, as I always say, you have to make decisions 
when you're trading before you have all the information you would need to make a perfect trading decision, a.k.a. that's also called the uh, genius of hindsight, which always looks smarter than we are. I've got a, a new uh, or at least one MACD trading tip coming up in just a moment. I need your help to click the like button because I count the likes on each video and I always ask the viewers to please, if you want to see another video similar to the one you've seen today, hit the like button. I count those. It helps me stay on target making the videos that, that you feel you need to learn to trade faster and easier. This is my book cover here. It has over 200 five-star reviews on Amazon. I'm quite wowed by that. Thousands of people have bought the book. I deliberately made it short, sweet, and to the point. It's only 110 pages long. It's got all the terms you need. It's got the increments, the prices, how to pick a broker. It's got trading psychology. It's got all those things crammed into about a one or two hour read, actually. And you can make notes in the book and in the, in the margins and, uh, and uh, learn as you go. And it'll speed up your learning, I hope. It only cost about as much as a medium pizza couple of Chick-fil-A sandwiches, maybe, with waffle fries, and uh, I recommend it, uh, the sandwich and the book. I choose to use Tastyworks as my broker for the channel here. It's the preferred broker that I use because I think it's very, very easy to learn to use, and as you have seen in the videos, the graphics are crystal clear, and they have wonderful help service, competitive rates, all the usual list of things you get from a great broker. Tastyworks. Look for the broker link in the text below. Now, I brought up Tastyworks because this right here on the screen is, is one of my watch lists for trading and monitoring prices on stocks and grains and micro e-minis and everything else. But it's not the watch list I have on my screen when I'm trading micro e-minis. Because one thing you have to learn to be able to do to successfully trade micro e-minis is to focus. You have to eliminate the noise and distractions. And having a, a watch list screen like this with 50 different items on it in front of you the whole time you're trading, uh, it's up to you what you do. But I find that to be distracting because I'm always looking and thinking about something else mingled inside my trading. And I know that I do better when I focus and concentrate. That's why I use this watch list. It only has four items on it right now, and that's the four micro e-minis. And I keep them in the same order. Now, why would I do that? Because if I keep them in the same order, my brain over time actually learns the correlations between the four. For example, uh, I can glance over at that, and if I see they're all up at the same time and I'm long a contract, uh, I know I'm on the right track. Or, or if they're turning and going down together, they don't trade the four micro e-minis. Don't trade a uh, hundred percent correlation with each other. Of course, you know the the Nasdaq. Uh, has most of the tech stocks and no financials in it. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is a very, a very um, thinly based average, a weighted average of only 30 stocks. And the Russell 2000, much broader, slower moving, a little less volatile with 2,000 stocks in it. But by keeping my watch list with just the four micro e-minis and in the same order, remember, because that's the way your, your brain learns. It needs that consistency. You'll start seeing correlations between them over time. You will. And it really helps a lot. It's a very simple thing to do. It costs nothing. So uh, if you think it might help you, consider it. Now, if you're new to the channel, or even if you're not, uh, I have a trade simulation program. It's free, no credit cards required. It isn't even my trade simulator. It belongs to the Chicago Merck Exchange, and they have a free link there where you, you don't need credit cards or anything, where you can sign up to use the trade simulator, and it also automatically keeps a, a, a trading ledger for you, and if you use Excel, you can download the file and play around with it later after you practice trade a while. And I do recommend practice trading very, very much. In my book, I mention uh, a method of using 25 consecutive successful trades before you risk a dime of real money. This is risky stuff. 90% of the people who try to do this type of trading don't make it. Uh, my own theory is is that that's because mostly they keep looking for some magic math formula, technical indicators, uh, 
to consistently print money, and uh, sorry, that just doesn't exist. Although there are plenty of people who will sell that idea to you for thousands of dollars, and they're called scammers. Don't take the bait. It's been great fun today. Uh, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss the video for next week, and I wish you good trading. This is Don Singletary. I hope every day is a payday for you. Thank you.